What's up Outriders, Amber here, back with another leveling guide. In this video, I'll show you exactly where to go in First City to kill hordes of enemies quickly and easily, to farm XP and level up fast. You may have seen other videos of this XP farm, but mine is different because it features the Devastator class, proving that this works for all classes, not just Trickster. Why would you want to farm XP instead of just playing through the main campaign? You'll have the answer in one minute, but first, let me show you how to get to this mission. So you're going to want to select a story point, choose First City, and then the third option, reach the other side of the river. First City is the third area you'll unlock after the prologue and Rift Town. So how you'll approach this Combat will depend on what class you're playing, but since I'm playing as a Devastator and I'm using my Earthquake ability, which works on enemies in a cone ahead of me, I'm running all the way to the end of the area to the barrier so I can have the barrier behind me and then all the enemies are going to be in front of me, allowing me to take out them very easily. So first I'm going to use Reflect Bullets, which also reflects their melee attacks, and then Earthquake to kill all these enemies in front of me. So I like to use Reflect Bullets followed by Earthquake and next Tremor, the third ability I have equipped, which not only damages these enemies, but steals life. So it's a life leech skill. And then use my weapon until Reflect Bullets is off of cooldown and then start the Cycle again. Reflect bullets, earthquake, tremor. And I can pretty much just stand in the same place and don't even have to use my weapon very much. But if you like <laughs> using your gun, of course you can shoot these enemies, but I find it more relaxing and chill, especially when I'm farming, to not have to worry about aiming and firing too much and using mostly abilities during this farm. And now you will see why I love to farm. Level 17. So I've just leveled up, and not only have I leveled up, I've also unlocked a new skill, Boulder Dash. So this answers the question a lot of people ask me, what is the point of farming XP? Why don't you just do the main campaign and earn XP that way? Well, if you want to do that, that's totally fine. But if you want to unlock skills, maybe before a boss fight or before you start the next mission. It's a good way to just farm some XP, level up, and possibly unlock a new skill. So I have one more skill to unlock that'll unlock at level 22. And this is the second area in this farm. And again, I did the same thing. As you could see, I ran all the way to the end the bridge, which is up now, and I'll have to lower it to cross it, but I run all the way to the barrier so the enemies can't get behind me, and then they all just come in front of me, and again, there's Tremor. And using my weapon, there's a few venomous enemies a little bit further away that I'll take out with my gun, and the rest, I just use that same pattern of Reflect Bullets, right there, and then Earthquake, and then Tremor. And after I killed all of these enemies, there'll be a mini-boss that will jump down, which isn't too difficult. I'm playing on World Tier 5, by the way. If you've played the demo and you've played World Tier 5, that's a good place to start. If you haven't played the demo and you're just starting Outriders, I recommend staying on World Tier 3. On World Tier 3, it's considered the normal difficulty. The enemies will be the same level as you. At World Tier 5, it's considered expert difficulty. The enemies will be two levels higher than you, but it's really up to you. And you can also use this as a World Tier farm if you want to increase your World Tier you can do that. Although my goal here in this run is XP. 
And as you can see, there's a little bit of loot. The loot's usually not that great. As you can see, it's a lot of green and blues. And here's the mini boss, which is basically just a bigger version of those smaller enemies I've been killing up to this point. And the boss is gone. And now there's just another one or two other enemies to take out. And then I'm going to collect some iron. There's one right here. There's two iron deposits right near the bridge here. This is the first one here. And then the other one is on the other side. Oop, and I used auto loot to collect that loot down on the D-pad. And then the second iron. So this is a farm not only for XP, but you can also get some good iron for crafting. And here's where I usually stop and do it again. But if you wanted to continue, you could lower the bridge. And I'll quick look at the build I'm using. The two mods that I really recommend here if you're playing Devastator. First on the chest piece is the extra quake that will give you two earthquakes instead of just one before the cooldown is triggered. And then on the trousers, the auto reflect, which will allow you to fight while reflect bullets is active. Those two mods are really useful. In fact, I have a whole leveling guide where I go over more details about Devastator mods. I will link that below and you should also see it linked on screen. As far as the weapons go, I'm using an assault rifle, although I mainly use abilities when I'm farming. I just find that a lot easier. So the three abilities I have equipped is the Reflect Bullets, which also reflects melee attacks in addition to bullets. Earthquake, which does damage to enemies in front of you. And with the Extra Quake mod, you can use Earthquake twice before the cooldown is triggered. And finally, Tremor, which does damage and steals life from enemies around you. So these are the three abilities that I recommend for this farm. Although experiment and find what works best for you. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Outriders.